in this video, we will look at this problem here. We are told that a continuous Ganon variable x has cumulative distribution function CDF uh, given by f of x equals 0 for x less than 0, x squared over 16 for x from 0 to 4, and 1 for x greater than 4. We are asked to find the CDF of a second variable given by y equal x squared. So a second variable y depends on x. So how can we find the CDF of that variable? In this video, I'm first going to give you a general approach to these kind of problems. General way to approach these kind of problems before we solve this particular case. So, if you have the CDF, if you are given the CDF, if you are given the CDF of a variable x, which is always capital F of x, as you have here, and you are asked, you are given, if you are given that, and you are also given a function, y equal h of x in general, which is the function you have here, y equal x squared, to find the CDF, to find the CDF of y, Let's call the CDF of y g sub y. g sub y. What you first do is you should find the inverse of this function y equal h of x. And then g sub y will be f of the inverse of that function, h of y. So, essentially what we are saying is that you simply find the inverse of this function here, and then you substitute that inverse in this function. And of course, you have to change the limits according to that inverse. And that is it. Very simple. So let's solve this particular case here. So we have our function. We are given the CDF of x and we are given the function y equal x squared. So to find the CDF of y, we first of all find the inverse of h here. So we have y equal x squared. The inverse will just be to solve for x here. So x will be equal to square root of y. And so our g's of y will be Remember when x is 0, y is also 0. So it will also be 0 in that case for y less than 0. It will be, you put square root of y here, you have square root of y squared over 16. Now for the domain, the second domain, you have 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 4. So you have 0 less than or equal to square root of y less than or equal to 4. This means that 0 will be less than or equal to y 
less than or equal to 16. So y will range from 0 to 16. So here we should have for 0 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 16 in this case. And for the third section, we will have when x is 1, y will also be 1. So it is 1 for y greater than or equal to 16. No, excuse me, it will be 1 for y greater than 16. So this is the CDF of y. Um, it is important that in this section, in this part of the course, when you are solving these problems, you show your method very clearly what you are doing. Okay? Thank you.